Well, this is the fourth one, and I am going to um, just continue. I can't keep going and giving background. If anybody cares, they can go back and watch the uh, prior videos or the last one. Uh, I watch, I want to say this, it's very hard for me knowing <laughs> what I know and what's been done to me and my money, where it's gone, and how people treat me. It's very hard to watch them um, having a really good time, and every moment of my life has been nothing but a living hell. Um, so anyway, I, I say that this, I'm allergic, I will say this, I'm allergic to chemicals as a, to try to get the point across. I have an immune disorder, and if I'm exposed to certain chemical sealants, there's quite a few of them, usually the ones associated with construction, and um, then my immune system, the minute I smell it, it's like turning on a light switch, my immune system attacks itself, and it really is very sickening. Um, over the years, if, you, if I'm exposed like I have been, because my whereabouts are controlled, and uh, it's orchestrated by law enforcement, they get infractions where someone's committed a crime, and they'll, uh, or the kids have committed a crime, and they will lessen it or not prosecute if they go along with what's being done to me. And yes, this is true. A lot of them, it's a joke. So I'm Margaret Ann Windsor, I'm Victoria the Second. I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace, given the name of a twin, Peggy Ann Dempsey, when both twins were murdered by their mother in Moulton, Alabama. I've put all this up. Even where the state of Alabama deliberately misspelled Irwin, who had uh, uh, brought the twins uh, into this world, and uh, then on a, when I finally got the birth certificates that I have to use, and they're dead, let me remind you, both of them. Uh, the state of Alabama sent me a letter, and how many things like this have to happen before people would do anything? They deliberately misspell Irwin, uh, rather I-R-W-I-N, it's I-R-V-I-N. But they mark through the birth dates, which is illegal to make it coincide with the date that they gave me. There's a year difference in the ages, so there's all kinds of discrepancies throughout my whole life. Nobody will touch it because the use of my control in it that I wrote about and then found out about my kidnapping. And they're making uh, the interview about North Korea. Um, taken out a leader. What do you think they did to my father and me? Well, they all have this good time. Look at them. This is, um, and I love animals too, but I'm talking about the new year, how they celebrate it. It's like my money and my hell and the Brits fought so all of you people can sit here and lie. What do you think about the news media? This is Channel 7 right here. And 10 here, 13, Back in Atlanta, they all knew it. T. Who did my book uh, when I was writing the book about mind control, 76 to 80, when they put antifreeze in me and I should have died. Uh, it was hell. But um, I had typed it myself, but I was running out of money and I had to go back to work. And I got a girl from, um, I wrote, uh, put an ad in the Atlanta Journal. She answered it. And uh, she told me when she left, and she took me to her home, so I, knew, I, I assumed it was her home, so I knew where she lived not too far from me uh, in Marietta. She said, if you need to call me to see how the book's going, um, here's the number. Well, I called her, and it was the Atlanta, it was the Georgia Crime Lab down in, um, uh, well, I, I was in contact with the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, the Cobb County, Tom Sheridan, the DA. Buddy Darden, even, the DA, even ran against me in the campaign in 83 to replace the doctor, Congressman Larry McDonald. I'd written about in, about in the medical malpractice book in Mind Control. And I'm going to fast forward. His plane was that he was on went down. It was the KAL-007. Uh, en route from Juneau, Alaska to Seoul, South Korea. And the Russians shot it down because it veered into their airspace. So you're getting into mind control. 
uh, use in on the pilot to get off course or the controller. Uh, I mean, it's a weapon that's not, it's limitless. Let me put it this way, and it's hard to prove. So now then, I've gotten away from, I guess, but uh, what I was going to say, how many law enforcement, all of them know about this. My immune system was used against me. They got my jobs where others just shut down. They took everything, my children, much less put me any freeze in me. That's just one portion of it all that they've done to me. But um, I came to Roanoke. I was on the side of the road then, and I uh, got up here, lived on the Appalachian Trail, and I'm living, uh, leaving out. You can't put it in. <laughs> I run out of video every time, and I laugh because I can't get through it if I don't make a joke of it. I don't know where my kids are. It was just Christmas. Today's New Year's Eve. Nobody gives a rat's about me. I'm a, well, the Brits do, and Germans, and a few Americans. Most of them, I'm just this joke, seriously. Uh, so it shows you what mankind's really like. My money, by the way, and the Brits and Germans are, are what these people have lived on. Uh, so anyway, wouldn't it be funny if one day there was some justice somewhere? But um, I wanted to get back to this scenario of where I've been has been controlled, and it's toxic fumes been put in it, whether it's the air conditioning, coming in and soaking my bed, or all of it. And I've been just made to be sick all the time. And really, um, my immune system, over the years when I've been forced to have the toxic fumes, my immune system has so depleted it attacks itself, the inflammation and all, my liver, kidneys, even the medicine I take for the inflammation attacks the kidneys. So all my organs have just been, it's a murdering me slow. With everybody knowing it, me begging, going to the media, nobody's going to touch it even with all the stuff I've laid out in former uh, Larry Flint even did an editorial. I was flown out there during the campaign in 83. He said I knew he was responsible for his shooting, and it was a, a nice editorial. Uh, so I had all kinds of, a friend of mine, I, I don't know if he's a friend or not, but he said he was laughing, really, like it's a joke, but I, he said, well, maybe you don't have enough evidence yet. Well, yeah, I've laid it all out there. It's not that people don't believe me. They do believe me. They know it's true, who, my kidnapping and all of it. But back to where I am here, if I can get it on this tape, I stayed here 14 as an example. I stayed here 14 months. It was so. In this past June, uh, March the 3rd, I was forced to leave. Uh, the 14 months wasn't that great, I, but I managed to stay. But they came in and were going to renovate it. And there's a story behind who owns it and what's happened and why I left the last place. Uh, at least the last place in Troutville, uh, it's done at such a high level. I mean, what they can say is, well, we just decided to remodel. Well, it's strange that everybody, and they're all connected, decide to remodel when I'm there, uh, besides the fumes they're putting in when they're not remodeling. So, long story short, I left one place, and they had all the stuff behind me, remodeling all of it, in front of me and down beside me, the paste, the plasters, and all that. So you couldn't, I took pictures of it, so you have to see it. What they're doing to me is behind closed doors most of the time, and they can deny it. You say, oh, well, you're nuts, and you know, I can't, uh, I can't confront them with it. I can't call the law. I can't get an attorney. If I do hit up and leave in a couple of days and go somewhere else, and, um, Anyway, when I, I came back here, I was forced to leave. They were, it was cruel. If, if you showed another 75-year-old woman being forced-fed toxic fumes and what it's doing to me or another, if it was another woman, if there would be such outrage, just that portion, pulling a few things, a suitcase from one place to the other, one side of the motel or where I'm living to another, uh, it would be outrage for people. I can hardly walk. But anyway, that's what they did before. 